Guam schools were mandated by the governor to submit a COVID-19 screening testing plan for students and unvaccinated employees as an added layer of protection against the virus. The last day to turn in their plan of action to the Department of Public Health and Social Services was October 1st. DPHSS Public Information Officer Janella Carrera said in a KUAM News interview that some schools have begun swabbing students for COVID. I think there are already some schools that have met the minimum requirements for the screening testing plan and have already moved forward or are moving forward with the screening testing plan. Um, I don't know exactly which schools there are. they are. Uh, I think these are probably the smaller schools, like small private schools or small Catholic schools that are able to move forward with the screening testing plan because they are a small school, so they're able to meet that 10% threshold of um, screening testing. But a few schools like St. Paul's Christian School and St. John's both say that they have yet to receive training or testing kits. However, Carrera says that they must reach out to public health in order to provide the necessary materials. If they're partners and they underwent the training, then, so if they're trained to be able to administer, um, then we would provide it. So they have to express an interest with us to receive the training for the minor tested, uh, and they would have to sign the letter of interest, and then we can schedule the training. It's, it's actually not that difficult. The schools who began testing students and unvaccinated employees met the minimum requirements, which are testing 10% of the student population and must conduct it biweekly. Carrera adds that they are still in the process of approving testing plans. She also confirmed that the department has received all schools' COVID screening testing plans, which are still undergoing review. According to Carrera, schools have 90 days from October 1st to comply with the executive order. As we reported, the Guam Department of Education's first phase of the plan was approved, which dealt with unvaccinated employees. As for testing GDOE students, the department intends to present their plan of action before implementation. Reporting for Guam's News Network, Guahusia Zia Agan.